Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back. Let's play Golden Sun. In the last episode, we uh, visited the town of Shun. Shun, Shun, Shun. I have no idea, honestly. And um, we found out that somebody is lost. And uh, yes, yeah, so we spoke to them, and they were trying to get past some boulders that blocked the way. I don't really know what's going on there, but we then came to the town of Altenex, and they were flooded. Uh, some creatures have been flooding them, and there are living statues, and they're just spitting up water everywhere. In this episode, we're gonna see if we can maybe put a stop to any living statues that might be hanging out in the mines over here. This is Alton, Alton Peak, and um, we took care of one of the monsters earlier, and in this episode, we're going to try and see if we can maybe complete the mission. This story over here, if you uh, go inside here, uh, after fighting some enemies, we get some new- ooh, attack first, awesome. We get some new enemies, we have the apes, which we've already met before. Um, we also have, um, the, uh, slime beasts over here, and these aren't actually too dangerous, but the apes are still pretty annoying to handle. We're gonna go with the good old earthquake, we're gonna go with the flare wall over here next, we're gonna go with the plasma here, we're gonna have tundra here, and it's just like a synergy party going on. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, this will help, uh, take out- well, these will probably take out the slime beasts, because they don't have too much HP, but- the ape, however, is, uh, you know, annoying as anything. Uh, this is not gonna kill him, probably. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I think we have, uh, we're fast enough that we can probably kill him in this turn. Sip and seal. Awesome. Or sight and seal. I don't know. But anyway, Blizzard will do it. Awesome. And, uh, Mia's HP is looking low, but that's just because we haven't set her gin yet. Her gin. Yeah, so she is looking kind of on the low side, and she still kind of is, but that's okay. Anyway, if you come on in here, you will see... There's water in there, so we can't really do much in this room. But remember this room, because we will be coming back to this later. I might be doing it off-screen, so remember. So what we want it to do here is we want to follow the tracks. Fight a bunch of new enemies as well. We have more dirges. We have uh, bone fighters. Uh, again, a new uh, batch here. Uh, and uh, I think in the last episode we got Quake Sphere, which is a completely different uh, thing from all the other stuff. And it's really powerful, too. Look at that. It can take out, I think it's what, eight enemies? <laughs> yeah, there are groups that are huge in this game. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use an Earthquake over here. We'll use another Flare Wall. We'll use another Plasma. And then here we'll use another Tundra. Again, we're probably not going to take out enemies. Maybe. Well, who knows? We'll see. Earthquake, though, is getting a little bit on the weak side. Uh, definitely not taking out the Dirge, but then again, he's floating in the air, so how can we feel it? Uh, maybe let's do it, actually. Oh, cool! Awesome! Yeah, don't... Ooh! Alright, you're a level 14 soldier, and he learns Fireball. And yeah, so Fireball actually hits more enemies than, uh, than his other stuff does. And I think we also... Yeah, I thought so. Ivan's gonna learn Magician Storm Ray at level 14. Pretty good spell, too. And, ooh, awesome, oh, wow, <laughs> party up, <laughs> jeez, uh, she didn't learn anything, I don't think, though, now, level 14 scribe, not bad, not bad, alright, so, anyway, after the interruption of the levels, uh, we want to follow the tracks over here, and just keep on following until you reach a certain point, uh, we will be coming up, more of geek idea, we'll be, um, coming up to her special room in a moment, um, whoops, that was weird, oh, um, let's see, we'll do, uh, we'll do this. This combo will tend to take out the, um, uh, the, uh, the, the beast thingies. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. And let's kill you! Oh, cool. Alright, now, um, the, uh, let's see, oh, man. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm kind of tired, but, eh, I drank some caffeine, and I'm like, yeah, I want to do this, I haven't done this in a little bit. Um, anyway, ooh, that might not kill him. No, oh, it did. Cool, sweet. Anyway, um, the mines will actually not be completed in one part because the mines here are huge. They're big mines. So, yeah, we're not going to complete the entire, uh, this entire thing, you know, tonight because, yeah, it's just no way. And, ooh, I see another statue over there. That would be number three that we'd have to, you know, or, sorry, number two that we'd have to kill. Anyway, we have a minecart over here. Let's jump in. And we Aw, denial. However, oh boy. Uh, we have all new enemies, that's good. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit something over there in a moment after we kill everything here. Uh, let's show a fireball. It's actually pretty strong, too, and storm rays. Ooh, that's good. I kinda, like I say, the, um, the apes are the biggest issue like, in this place because they have so much HP and they hit really hard, too. Yeah, like I say, earthquakes just not cutting it, but I don't want to use 15, you know, PP for just like these little guys here. 
because Isaac doesn't have a whole ton of stuff. This should, I think, kill the ape. Nope, never mind, I lied. Yeah, Mia, you suck. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, yeah, it doesn't have really all that great spells, but Ivan, whoo, his spells, ooh, they're good, they're real good. Alright, so let's go ahead and look over here, and if we hit this, uh, if we, uh, excuse me, hit this switch over here, yeah! So let's see, if we just, um, do this, it makes it a little easier to, we do this, and then we can hop back right on in, and we, alright, this will take us all the way over here to where this guy is. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna kill this guy off screen, because you've already seen how we're gonna kill him. Uh, is like, I don't like doing it this way, but there are so many of these guys, and it's just, um, you know, it's just way easier doing it this way. Uh, I'm actually gonna leave, uh, Mia's, um, stuff alone, because, uh, these guys are fast enough to, uh, kill him, you know, without having to, um, I just said I would cut this out, but, but, uh, they're fast enough to kill him without her having to summon everything. So, yeah, anyway, a Tiamat is super good against these guys. Uh, yeah, just, oh man, he does so much damage. So let's go ahead and get all this out. I said I would cut this, but now I'll just tell you guys, you know, why we're doing it this way, just because it's so much easier. Uh, than just, like, summoning everything and then, you know, going all out. Like I said, he can hit kind of hard, but, you know, doing this, just super, super, super efficient. So, yeah, I'll be cutting out any of the other ones that we find that I don't deem appropriate. Alright, and, ooh, that'll lower that down for us. Awesome! Alright. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and jump back on into here. Whee! How lovely minecarts are so fun. Now, uh, that doorway down over there, we're actually going to ignore that doorway because we can't do anything down there. So, let me see. We need to actually, um, let's see. And Mia's right there, good. Uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to, you know, the djinn will have to respawn momentarily, you know. But anyway, let's make our way over this way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack all the way back to that room that I told you to, uh, to remember. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going back over here to uh, this doorway over here. Um, there is still an enemy that we haven't met up with that I hope to at some point. Uh, yeah, he's been pretty elusive and we I fought, I fight a lot of them when he went in practice, but yeah, today, uh, you know, tonight, not so many, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, we can now go through this door over here. And uh, now what we want to do is, as you can see, we have a minecart over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, uh, excuse me, and I'm gonna ride it very shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the beasties over here. I don't think uh, Mia and Garrett will sadly kill, um, will kill one of them, I don't think. Uh, let's see, and yeah, there we go. Cool, well, I was wrong. Neat. I guess if Mia gets a crit, then yeah, we're good. Let's ride this minecart over here. Now this will take us, wee all the way down over here. So that's not, you know, it's not a huge issue. Let's go ahead and flip the switch over here. And this will take us now all the way back over here. Uh, I could have just like walked all the way down and then f hit the switch and then come back up here, but the encounter rate, you know, would just probably have killed me. And I uh, wouldn't, you know, take as long to doing it this way. Alright, so then we're gonna come all the way over here. Whee! And then we have another doorway over here. So, check it out over here. Uh, like I say, I'm not gonna finish this all in one episode, but yeah, it's whatever. Ooh, new enemies here. We have a Calamar. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for... Uh, why don't we show off Quake Sphere? Why not? This spell is amazing. And let's show off Fireball, too, if we can get to it. I will do Storm Ray, and then she will... Actually, yeah, she'll, uh, she'll do Thunder. Why not? Uh, we'll probably kill them, you know, before that anyway, but look at that damage. So nice. And Quake Sphere... Yeah, it's way better than Earthquake, and this will probably kill him. Cool, alright, neat. Well, uh, over here, that's a Mimic up there. So, if you want a game ticket, which is what it drops, go for it. I'm going to ignore it because, you know, it's a Mimic and I don't really care about those. So, it is a bit stronger than all the other ones we face. They progressively get stronger, so, you know, be wary of that. Um... And, uh, yeah, ooh, Rat Fighters, awesome. Like I said, there is an enemy that we have not seen yet that I hope to find at some point. Like I say, get him in practice, but never when the actual run takes place. I did actually fight it off screen while I was walking back towards the, towards that room, but I didn't want to, you know, like, show that off just for one, you know, enemy, so it's, that's whatever. We'll probably find it at some point, because I don't like cutting. You know, I, I tend to, like, uh, like, I feel like this LP, the the encounters are they're frequent but they're um 
uh, they're not like, um, you know, like terribly hard, difficult, like, you know, just take forever to kill, like in Dragon Quest, you know, Dragon Warrior 7, so. Anyway, we have a pond over here, let's freeze it, and you can see we have a door over there, and we have a ladder up here, so where, oops, uh, overshot it. I really want that enemy, but I can't seem to find it. Oh, uh, well. I don't know if I've said why I like this combo of um, Isaac and uh, like Ivan attacking one enemy and Garrett and me the other. Normally, Garrett is way more powerful than Ivan um, and Mia, but you know he's got a pretty weak weapon at the moment, so yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Um, but you know we'll probably get something stronger relatively soon. And that should do it. Awesome. Like I say, I like to. Ooh, Isaac, awesome. Uh, I like to keep, like, all the artifacts on me, like, make those my primary weapons, because they are really good. They do have some pretty unique spells and stuff like that, and regular items and regular weapons are not exactly the forte. Ooh, hi, buddy. I see you over there. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna probably stick to mostly artifacts, if I can help it. Uh, oh, there they are. We had tarantulas here, too. Yeah. These guys aren't too terribly dangerous, but, you know, hey, they're there. Uh, let's see, why don't we go and show off Fireball, because the damage here is amazing. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, have him just attack, and then have her do Tundra, just to save a little bit of, uh, MP. Uh, and I wanna show off Fireball, because, um, yeah, uh, they won't, uh, or, you know, Ivan will attack before Garrett. Fireball, let's see it. Looks like fire, but damage-wise, ooh, so good. And yeah, the Tarantulas are winked to fire, I think, because they're insects. And yeah, look at that. Yeah, I guess bug type is uh, weak against fire. Well, makes sense. Anyway, we have a, the thingy over there and a pond over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cast frost. Doing frost will make you know that of course do things. We want to climb the ladder that we see over here. Ooh, I see a treasure over there. We're actually gonna make our way over there in a moment to get that treasure because that treasure is actually pretty good. Probably the best one in the cave. So let's see, count the game tickets. But <laughs> who does? Alright, Blizzard! I like that. And I don't know if we'll kill him. Let's see. Nope, guess not. You fail me. Alright, um, let's see. Isaac's looking kinda low on PP. Um, like I said, I'm trying to avoid staying in inns also unless I absolutely have to, and, you know, this isn't really the case over here. Uh, so you will be using, um, you know, some synergy with me to heal everybody up. And wee! I see a switch over there! Wee! Alright, so. For doing all that stuff over there. And here we get the Dragon Shield. So I want to see who is actually, um, who benefits the most from this. So if he equips it, 106, but what if we give it to I Isaac? Sadly, Isaac doesn't have much space. Uh, we'll give the bone to Mia, and you will give the shield to Isaac. Yeah, Isaac gets a better, better benefit from this, I think, because his defense is a little bit lower than Garrett's, so. Alright, awesome! Now, let's, uh, make our way uh, into the cart, please. There we go. Make our way all the way back, and now we have to come all the way over here, um, you know, all the way up there to, uh, to pull the switch. And hopefully that'll do some stuff for us. Uh, can we just fall down here? Yeah, alright, cool. That works. You don't have to go all the way across the, uh, the ladder thing. Uh, you guys can all die and hate Cal Actually, I love calamari. Calamari is probably like the pinnacle of seafood. If you have besides shrimp, of course. Because I do love, I like seafood in general. Uh, like, I don't know, I love calamari. I love shrimp. I love, um, catfish. I love... Cod's okay if you fry it, I guess. I love salmon. Salmon, mmm, so good. Tuna, of course, you get Can't ever go wrong with the tuna fish sandwich. So, does it count if I call alligator? A, uh, a seafood because they do kind some of them do live in the ocean I think um, and I've actually eaten alligator when I was little I went to Florida and I tried alligator for the first time and I was like oh chicken no alligators where it's at bro <laughs> that sounds so weird yeah but alligator is just like mm, pinnacle of, uh, of quote-unquote seafood I guess is what you would call it but mm, you're talking about alligator it's just it's so good and I just Want to eat it again, I guess, is what I'm saying. Alright, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and have Mia do some healing here, because she got the most uh, PP of everybody, or of Isaac anyway, because uh, no one else can heal except for her. And I have another friend over there that needs to be killed. Oh my god, we have a lot of these guys. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's just go all out over here, yeah. Flare Wall, uh, we'll do Storm Ray, and you... Uh, I think 
actually we should be able to kill him just fine with just these three spells we need her to um, like use uh, Tundra. <gasps> At some point she will be faster than Garrett, but that'll be a while because he has the mail on. And this should do it. Awesome. Alright. Ooh, me level 15 scribe now. Awesome. Get a little bit more PP. And let's make our way over here down here. Alright, so I kinda wanna show off Mia Summon, but again, just uh, you know, just not really worth it. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and show off the fight because these things just take a second. Uh, what I'll probably do, and it's probably gonna bite me in the butt later, uh, is, um, I will show off her summon, um, but, let's see, what I'll probably end up doing is here, let's see, first we're gonna go ahead and have, uh, we're gonna have Isaac just, uh, we'll have just Isaac attack, we're gonna have, mm, Garrett use Tiamat, we'll have him do, uh, proc me, and then we'll have her do Neptune, we haven't shown off Neptune yet, pretty cool spell, I like this, Probably like my third favorite of the uh, like of level three or the first favorite of the level three guys. Uh, let's see, Tiamat will do some heavy, heavy damage. I'm gonna kill him. No, quite. Neptune won't do as much because well, it's a Mercury uh, summon. Uh, that could hurt. Ow! Look at that damage. Neptune. Let's see. Yeah, it's a big old whale. I love whales. All right, I haven't eaten a whale yet, but narwhal. Bam. I'm not gonna kill him because yeah. If I need the water, I did. Oh, hey, <laughs> who knew? All right, Garrett, little 15 guard. I like it. Ooh, I have a nice job. Wins here, sweet. All right, so 900 points, not bad. Oh well, no, we've seen all the summons. Awesome. Now, what we could do is we could walk all the way out of the cave, but we're not gonna do that. We're instead gonna cast retreat. Yeah, because we're done in this part of the cave. Um, not much we can do in here anymore. Uh, but what we will be doing is doing something a little different. So let's go ahead and exit out of here, and I think, let's see, you will go ahead and re -equip everything. Awesome. Now, after killing that, you know, other living statue, we have more things to look at in here. So we have a weapon shop and an item shop. So, what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna come on in here, we're gonna check out, or armor shop, excuse me, check out the armor shop. The uh, artifacts are still the same as uh, shown. We could buy some chainmail here for the two boys, but the defense up is just minuscule. Uh, I'm not gonna even waste money on it. Uh, Goblins on the other hand might not be a bad idea. Uh, Dragon Shield, not too great. Uh, for these two, it's not a bad deal, and for Garrett, again, not a bad deal, but we're gonna save our money because, yeah, it's worth it. Uh, however, we are gonna go ahead and get an Iron Helm for, let's see, well, I'm gonna, for both the boys, why not, because, uh, oh, you, yeah, that's not a bad thing. Uh, go ahead and, uh, do that, there we go, and go and equip it, there we go, and you can sell the one hat, you just have that forever. Alright, yeah, thank you for the game ticket. Like I guess, say, keep those game tickets. Uh, what can I sell? Well, I'm, um, him go ahead and sell the bronze helmet, because we're gonna go ahead and buy an iron one right now. Uh, let's see, now you go ahead and buy that iron helmet. Uh, there we go, and that's for him. Awesome. Yep, and then we get a game ticket again. I think we get one for every purchase. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but hey. Oh, we have a shield that we could sell also for, um, for, uh, for, from Garrett. Let me go ahead and sell that shield, make a little bit extra key here. 375, not bad, not bad at all. I can't really forgot that one. All right, now, we're done over here pretty much. The defense for everything, for like Mila, Mia and Ivan is pretty minuscule, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. I like the sword that they have here. Now, there is a weapon in here, though, that I do plan on buying for uh, one of the two uh, mages. So, we have the Synergy Rod. 3,000 gold, or, you know, 3,800 gold. We use the Synergy Leech. We're gonna go ahead and give this to, we're gonna give this to Ivan. All right, now, Go ahead and clip it. And no, we do not want to sell the Bless Onk. We're going to hand that down to uh, to Mia. Yeah, so Mia now has a little bit of a better weapon, and Isaac uh, does as well. So let me go ahead and... No, don't sell anything. All right, let me go ahead and... Uh... No, I want to... Stop it. Go ahead and get the items already. Let's see. You will give this to her. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and clip that. Awesome. Yeah, so... We're looking pretty strong already. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to show you? Some stuff. Uh, let's see, Battle Mace is actually not that bad. I, um, no, actually, no, I've already seen this before. Even then, with the Blessed Onk, it's still not as good <laughs> as the Battle Mace, but again, I like the, uh, the boost up, or, you know, like the, the power. The Claymore, look at this. Oh, wow, it's 18 plus, 
Him is like 26. But again, I'm going to stay with my current weapons right now because not really worth, uh, you know, the money for it right now. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I believe, actually, that's all that we really need to do here. Yeah. Uh, we are looking kind of low on the uh, tough. Oh, but then again, you know. Actually, no, even then, he's still looking pretty low and stuff. Um, let me go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I think, um, here, let me actually get out of here real fast before we do this. Uh, if you come on over here, there's a cart thing over here. This leads even deeper into the Alton Peak. And, uh, we're gonna call it an episode here, guys. The next one, we're gonna finish up Alton Peak. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.